We present PhysioX, a coordinated visual analytic tool for providing clinical researchers the ability to interactively explore patterns and relationships in physiological data streams. One of the main uses of this tool is to assist clinical researchers generate hypotheses predicting the behavior of physiological data streams, especially cardiovascular physiology, prior to adverse clinical events that manifest at the bedside. In a preliminary user study, we ask experts to explore neonatal spells prior to the point of suspicion of infection, thereby eliciting detailed descriptions of physiological behaviors using PhysioX. We have developed a novel visualization technique, the temporal intensity map, which reveals critical information about the frequency, duration, and trajectory of streaming events. An algorithm for neonatal spells was developed to detect and classify neonatal spells into 10 broad classifications. We also present a unique representation of the bubble chart, named the sequence chart, for exploring high-level sequences in algorithm-generated event classifications. The temporal intensity map allows the analyst to explore behaviors of temporal futures discovered in the high-frequency data stream. Dense regions appear dark, thereby alerting the analyst of higher-than-normal activity. Specifically, the analyst is interested in regions that appear above a certain threshold. In the respiratory impedance graph, for instance, the analyst pays key attention to clusters occurring above the 22nd mark, as it is a pathological state for the infant. This view supports interactive brushing to highlight regions of interest. Brushing one temporal intensity map automatically changes the focus on all other temporal intensity map views. The sequence graph view is a first classification view that provides a user with a quick and sequential high-level view of classification events that occur over a 24-hour period of every day that data is available. This view provides a story of behaviors and duration of events as it leads up to the 24th hour. The size of each bubble represents the total duration of that classification type within the hour and smaller duration classifications that occur in the same hour are stacked on top. This creates a layered view. The user can then hover over each classification and sequence to gain details on demand. The linear graph provides a user with an ability to see classification of events linearly as occurring over the analysis period. This linear graph transforms all classifications to a log scale that's expressed on the vertical axes. The vertical position and size of the bubbles double encode for duration. Opacity is controlled as to highlight various event clusters. The user is able to click on each bubble to reveal the raw data signal that corresponds to particular classifications. These raw signals may also be used to validate that the classification is correct. The streams graph view provides the analyst with a visualization of changes in the frequency of events linearly over the entire duration of the analysis. This view allows the user to get a quick appreciation of the overall physiological state of the infant. A tooltip is also available to provide user with details on a band. The graph also hides other stacks when hovered over to highlight other times when the classification type was also detected. PhysioX also allows the analyst to perform interactive coordinated brushing to highlight regions of interest across all charts. Here, you see that the analyst has highlighted 24 hours prior to the suspicion of infection. The respiratory impedance graph shows not very much events. The heart rate flux graph shows some highly fluctuating events. The analyst then moves on to the sequence graph to see the events that occurred prior to the suspicion point. The analyst then moves to the linear graph by zooming in on the regions just before the point of suspicion, the analyst gets deeper insight into the events that occur. The analyst then sees the central event classification and clicks on it. 
the raw data display then appears and the analyst is able to follow the raw trace to get a detailed insight as to what happened at the bedside. The analyst then moves on and looks at the streams graph. The streams graph shows that during that point of suspicion, a higher number of possible isolated bradycardia events occurred, while the number of desaturations decrease. The analyst is now satisfied with the analysis and concludes. The PhysioX Visual Analytic Tool provides analysts with an ability to perform highly interactive, coordinated analysis of physiological data streams. PhysioX allows users to generate hypotheses about behaviors in the physiological data streams prior to events that occur. It also allows the analyst to drill down and expose raw signals as they're currently seen at the bedside to support their hypothesis. PhysioX may also be useful beyond physiological data streams in other scenarios that involve analysis and exploration of features that are detected in high-frequency data streams.